So today we're going to be talking about the odium gene. So I'm back hanging out at Nerd a little bit and uh, we're going to talk about this gene that people think isn't real. They think, you know, Kevin's just making stuff up now and maybe he is, but uh, not in this case. So we're going to take a look at some odium combos. I'm going to show you how to identify it and what some key traits are that you can look for if you're getting into the odium project. I noticed you're wearing a Kabelka shirt. Uh... Oh yeah, well, you know, when you're going to identify ball python genes, you got to, you know, you got to do it right. That's going to be cool. Should I blurt that out? <laughs> <laughs> you should. No, dude, you got square. It's square Pac-Man, so you got to put no, some that's dots. The green lab, that is the green lantern. <laughs> that is what that is. All right, so here we have a pretty subtle odium combo. This is a phantom enchi yellow belly odium. So this is one of those combos where you're gonna be like, eh, that's I don't know what what I'd be looking for for odium. First of all, take a look at the overall color of this snake. It's pretty different. If you know what this combo should look like, it's almost like granity. It just doesn't look quite right. So the other thing you're going to look for, which we're going to see a lot of with some of these other snakes, we want to look for what we call the defining line. And it's basically where if you look at these dark bands, suddenly the melanin disappears and we start to get this really light pattern on the bottom half of the sides. I hope that's getting picked up in the camera because we're going to see this in a lot of other combos. This combo, again, really subtle to see. So you're looking for other cues, like the just overall difference in base color of the snake. And there might be a few pattern anomalies that show up. It depends on every animal, of course. Uh, but this is kind of the foundation of what you're looking for with odium. Here we have an animal that's a little bit easier to see where the odium defining line is. This is a hidden gene Woma Mojave odium combo. There's a couple of other genes in the mix, but that defining line where we lose that melanin is much clearer in this animal. If you look inside those what should be pure gray flames, we're losing a lot of that gray and now we've got this almost whitish yellow kind of bleeding through. So that's really that defining line that tells you that odium is really at play. When you start to mix this in with stuff like Lucifer and Yellow Belly, it really makes this stuff pop and then it's like blatantly obvious when this gene is actually in the mix. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some combos where you can really see Odium interacting. So this is an Enchi Lucifer Inferno. So if you know what this combo should look like, those yellows should be pretty deep and dark, and it's actually pretty light. So this is another example of the color, the overall color of the animal getting kind of messed around with with Odium. And then again, that defining line, this girl just recently ate, so we don't wanna mess with her too much, but you can see that defining line where the melanin along those little orange flames is starting to just disappear. As this snake gets older, more and more of that melanin is gonna start to go away and this snake is gonna look totally different at around five, 600 grams. It's gonna be insane. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at a couple combos where odium is freaking going crazy. So this is what we call an odium green. And this is like hidden gene Woma with Lucifer, and Mojave, and a handful of other genes, of course, and I'm not gonna tell you all of them. But the interesting thing, in this combo, Lucifer <coughs> and odium actually make these really cool dark spots. And when the snake hatches, they're actually like kind of light green, which is crazy. Unfortunately, as the animal ages, they turn kind of slate gray, which is still a cool look, but it's not green. And how cool would it be to see a green ball python? Okay, so now talk about a defining line. So see these, these greenish teardrops. Now suddenly the melanin is disappearing and they're turning yellow on the bottom half of the sides. This is a great example of what we're talking about, this disappearing melanin. And now this snake is just gonna continue to change as it gets older. You're gonna see a lot more of that melanin disappearing. It's just gonna be insane. So imagine a snake like this that starts out with green dots, suddenly starting to turn gray, and then that gray disappearing on the bottom half of the sides. That's such a unique thing. So odium's almost like a time release gene where it just gets more interesting as the animal gets bigger. Okay, so this is like a genetic mess. This is what we call a Lucifer pin odium beast. There's a lot of genes. Obviously there's Lucifer and pinstripe in the mix. And in this light, you can almost kind of see the pinstripe kind of bleeding through along the back, especially closer to the tail right there. You can kind of see it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, 
but it's really, really unique. An animal like this is gonna change a lot as it ages. So we've got, again, Odium, Pinstripe, Hidden Jingwoma, Mojave, <coughs> Lucifer. It is, there's so much happening in this snake. So we basically have this patternless yellow animal. You can see some speckling in there. And then again, the defining line, where now we're almost just getting these white flames up the side of the snake. Really, really different, really unique. And then take a look at this that hidden gene woma head. You get this gray head, it's just really, really unique. So again, as this animal ages five, 600 grams, it's gonna look totally different than this. And then as that animal becomes an adult, wow, it's just gonna be absolutely spectacular. So you got a little glimpse of what Odium can do with some younger animals. I'm gonna show you guys some bigger Odium combos so you can see the real power of the Odium gene. All right, so take a look. This is a bigger Enchi Mojave Odium combo. So take a look at the overall color of this snake, right? So it's not quite what a Mojave Enchi should look like. Also, you're getting these really crazy, like grayish brown flames. And remember that defining line? Take a look at how extreme it is here on the back side of the snake. Check that out, if I can get the snake to just cooperate a little bit more, it's not exactly thrilled that I brought it out. But look at how that melanin has disappeared. The bottom half of the side of the snake is now like bright yellow versus that kind of like tannish copper color. And then the flames on the side, that melanin that outlines the flame is basically completely gone. Okay, so now we've added leopard into this equation as well. So take a look at the overall pattern of this snake. How crazy is that? It just doesn't look quite right. It makes you scratch your head a little bit. We've also got, of course, that defining line. Take a look at that if I can spread this girl out. Look at that. It's just a really bizarre look to this animal. So this would, again, as a baby, be a pretty subtle combo. You wouldn't necessarily see Odium all that well. But now the snake has gotten some size. It makes you scratch your head. That's classic thing from Odium. Makes you look at the snake and be like, hmm, something's not quite right. This is Odium to a T. I remember when this snake hatched out, Kevin and I were losing our minds. So this is actually like Enchi Special Odium Pied. There's definitely some other genes in there, but we're not 100% sure because it was the first time we got an Odium into a recessive combo. But talk about the defining line where the melanin disappears. Check out, this girl wants to move. Check out the sides of this snake. See that, you see the melanin on top? Now look at the side. All that orange there, that's where melanin used to exist on this snake and it has just totally vanished. And thanks to being pied, the orange has really kept the saturation. This snake is everything Odium is to a T. And if you look at that first third of the body, if I can get her to cooperate a little bit more, you see how that darker pattern, it just, it looks bizarre. It looks almost like graneted out. She really doesn't want to cooperate. But man, this, this is Odium to a T. You want to know what Odium does? It does stuff like this. Okay, so I don't work at Nerd anymore, and you guys aren't paying me, but thank you so much for supporting the Nerd Patreon. It's really awesome. I want to give a shout out to Benjamin Sloan, uh, Dilich, Jay Muller, of course Jay Muller, what? Uh, Natasha Carter. It's Natisha, by the way. Natisha? Is it Natisha? So. You're right, it is Natisha. Yeah. Pick Prince. Pick Prince. Bam! And Alice, Alice Zane, we, we love you. Yes, you we love you too. You are awesome. Thanks for watching this video. Hope, hope, hope you go buy Odium now. Yeah. You should do that. Spend all of your it's money. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's Make, not it a scam. Make it rain. Make it rain, y'all. Yeah. Make it rain. Okay. No, no. That's good. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!